guys, this feels really weird. I feel like I've forgotten how to start a YouTube video because it's been so long since I last posted on here. I feel like, for starters, this video, which is going to be the kitchen transformation, as you can probably tell from the title and the thumbnail, I really thought this was going to be like a two, three week job. It's now been, I want to say it's been like two months at this point that I've been filming this video for. Um, and it's only just finished. Like, I'm only just posting it now. So this has taken a lot longer than I anticipated. Which I actually don't mind because I am so happy with this video and with the kitchen like I really hope you guys are going to enjoy watching this I knew in my head that I wanted to do it somewhat on a budget like I didn't want to do anything crazy and start like ripping out appliances or changing the cabinet because I did really like the kind of initial base kitchen that I had it just needed a bit of love do you know what I mean like it just needed a bit of TLC it needed some paint it needed just a bit of life putting into it to make it feel a little bit more homey and cozy. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm so happy with it. Like, I just love it in there now. So that is what today's video is gonna be. I have vlogged the entire process of us transforming the kitchen. I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video. I always loved doing like the house vlogs and the moving vlogs when I initially moved into this house. All in all, like, I just love home content. Like, I know it's maybe not the kind of stuff that I would usually post or like what I used to post, but I just really love love this kind of content now so hopefully you guys enjoy it too if there's anything else that you want to see then definitely let me know because i'm going to try really hard to be more consistent on here especially now we're coming into autumn like cozy autumn vlogs are probably my favorite vlogs to film i'm going to try not ramble anymore because I feel like I could quite easily just sit here and ramble for like a good 10 minutes seeing as I've not spoke to you all in so long but I hope you enjoy this video if there's anything else that you want to see definitely let me know and yeah I hope you guys enjoy okay excuse the mess but this is how the kitchen currently looks so it's very neutral we're probably going to stick to a neutral ish theme but all of the cupboards are white we have a cool toned brown countertop currently we have this stainless steel backsplash it's actually kind of bad because they didn't fully stick this to the wall so it does actually fall down but all of this i think is going to be removed and also these extra strips of wood because we're going to be tiling all of the back portion i think we're actually going to tile all the way around to like past the sink and then also potentially down here as well because this section's a little bit awkward this light fitting is going to go because i hate it <laughs> um there's a lot of silver in the kitchen which i do like but i think we're going to introduce some different kind of metals and switch these plugs because again these plugs it sounds really silly but I just don't like them and I feel like switching them to something that is more of like an antique brass will look better. And then this is how our dining area looks. We don't currently have a lampshade on this light because it's just placed really awkwardly in the kitchen because we have this raised bit of the ceiling where the windows are they centered the light to this section rather than the entire width of the room so it's not centered over the dining table which it sounds so silly but it really really grates on me so we're going to be moving it to possibly around here where this tape currently is because that is the centered part of the table we have also got one of the like plug fittings already which looks like so it doesn't that just look so much better but yeah you can kind of see the color is slightly different to the stainless steel that's on the hob but i quite like the fact that they're slightly different metals i think we're going to go for like mixed metals and different things in here and i just think they'll look so much better especially when we've got tiles on the back wall as well but yeah you can see roughly that the light that we've picked out i wanted something that just i don't know made a little bit more of like a statement too so we've got this um cluster kind of pendant light that we're going to have fitted and then i think we are also going to panel this back wall just to add a little bit of texture to the wall we're probably going to put some prints on it as well we decided to do all of the painting first just so that we didn't have to mask later on after having the tiles fitted so we got a couple of swatches and ended up going with skimming stone from Farrow and ball we also removed all of the laminate strips around the countertop just to make sure everything looked a lot more flush and neat when the tiles were actually fitted so we painted the entire kitchen um i know my techniques look a little questionable here but i actually feel like i'm pretty good when it comes to rolling so this was step one of the transformation 
Don't mind my appearance, I am about to get on a train to go to London so I've just curled my hair ready for an event that I'm going to tonight but I thought I would quickly give you guys an update on the kitchen because I'm not actually going to be here tomorrow morning when a little bit more of the work is done. So I thought I'd quickly talk you through what we're having done and then I'm really hoping when I get home tomorrow everything is going to have gone smoothly, it's all going to look good because I can't lie we've already had a couple of hiccups whilst doing some bits ourselves. So as you can probably see, we painted the kitchen this weekend. I have to say, I am so happy with the color. I absolutely love the color, exactly what I wanted. It's not too dark, but it's still got a little bit of something to it. it just adds a little bit of warmth to the room. Fortunately, it was my mistake, but we did mask a lot of the units when we were painting because obviously we're not professional painters. So I don't really trust myself to like, cut in with a brush and some of the paint has actually peeled off with the masking tape which is so 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 annoying but you can see here for example like just looking at this honestly makes me want to cry <laughs> because it's such a minor fault as well but anyway on to more positive news so as i said we're having some bits done tomorrow i'm not going to be here so i'm really hoping i'm going to come home and everything's going to be fine and there's going to be no more hiccups uh, but we're actually having all of the electrical work done tomorrow. So the rest of the plugs, I don't know if you've even seen, but the rest of the plugs just arrived. I don't know. Honestly, I feel so silly like being so excited about things like this, but I just, I can't wait to see everything come together because I feel like it is going to look really, really good. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell myself at the minute. It's going to look really good when it's done. Probably the thing that I'm most excited about is this light being moved. Change. Also had, yeah, I was about to say, we've also had the tiles arrive. I have to say, a lot of them are actually a lot more speckled. But we did get a sample and I say, where is the sample actually? It's over there. there the sample is sample. more, yeah. Just kind of like plain, but we did know they kind of had... I mean, there are plain ones in yeah, there as so well, like there's plenty of plain ones, it's just there's going to be a bit of a mix and match. Yeah, so. which I think is fine, as long as he, I'm sure he will. We've got someone coming to do the tiling on Wednesday. Um, I think I'm just going to make sure that we have like a good mix so that not all of them are, yeah, not all of them are like clustered together. It's coming together. It will be fine. It will be fine. Anyway, I'm off to London, so I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. And fingers crossed. Everything has gone smoothly. Okay, so it's been a couple of days since I last updated you guys, and I have to say, I'm so happy with how it's starting to look. As I mentioned, the electrician has been, so he has done both of the light fittings, he's done the majority of the plugs as well. There's one plug that we didn't have all of the parts for, so he's gonna pop back hopefully today to fit that one. The Tyler has also been, he came yesterday. So it's suddenly gonna look a lot different when I show you the updated situation. Okay, so this is how it's looking. I'm so happy with how they look compared to the paint as well. We are actually gonna be putting kind of like a dark wood shelf in here obviously i know it's all looking very neutral very creamy at the minute which i don't know might not be everyone's cup of tea but yeah i have to say i am so happy with how everything looks so as you can see here um all of the plugs have been fitted except this one hopefully the parts should be arriving today but even even just like changing the plug sockets over i don't know if it's just me but I just feel like it's instantly made everything look so much more expensive. So this is the light fitting that's now up here, which I love. Um, I do need to patch a couple of holes up there, but it looks so much better. And then this is the light now above the kitchen table. You'll have to excuse the mess. I need to clean everything this morning and put all of the appliances back on the side. But this is the light that we went for. We do also have a couple of holes that need patching up because I wasn't here obviously when this was fitted, but I believe it was quite a tricky job having it done. Uh, so we've got a couple of holes that need sanding and filling. And then we also need to sort the paint out. So this is gonna be all today's jobs. Oh, it's so great. Such a needy boy. I feel like it's actually all coming together now. I can't explain how happy I was when I came downstairs yesterday. And I have to say, the guy that fitted our tiles was incredible. Well, fun. Yeah, it is. 
Okay, so kind of skipping ahead a little bit here, I think maybe a week or so had passed in between this clip and the previous clip, but as you can probably tell, we ended up fitting a different light. I do go into a little bit more detail about this later, but I love this light fitting so much. It was actually my mom and dad's at their old house and I did actually get it for them myself. So when they said they were leaving it, I basically asked if I could take it and put it in our kitchen instead and they said that was absolutely fine. So we ended up switching the light and then we moved on to doing the paneling, which I have to say was probably my favorite job to do. For some reason, I thought this was gonna be a lot more difficult to do than it actually was and it definitely was tricky doing the first couple of panels but once you get into the swing of it it's actually quite straightforward so I did actually map all of this out on photoshop before um we went ahead and did anything and then we got the wood strips from B&Q and then we cut them at home ourselves and basically just glued them to the wall with no nails and I love the way that it turned out I mean we had to go ahead and prime all of the wood afterwards with some wood primer and then we also went on top with two coats of skimming stone just so that everything looked really seamless but this was a much quicker job than I initially anticipated so I think I will maybe do a little bit more paneling in some other areas of the house because I really really loved the finish look of it. You look very handsome with your new haircut. Say hello everyone. Hello. Guys, it feels like I've been filming this video for months at this point. I don't even know where I last got up to with it. This has taken a lot longer than I thought it would, um, which is absolutely fine. I would rather it take more time and turn out the way that I want it to turn out. I did watch some of the clips back and it was funny even just seeing like how stressed and how upset I was at the start with things like the painting. Like, I was getting so worked up about stuff and so stressed out about stuff and now that things are actually pretty much done it makes me so happy to look at <laughs> because I feel like it really has finally come together. But yeah, I'm not actually 100% sure what I last vlogged. I think it might have been the panel in. So I think the last thing that I filmed was me and Dan doing, yeah, the paneling on the back wall where the table is. So since we did the paneling, I ordered some frames and I also ordered some prints. I am going to try and link everything down below if anyone's interested in any of like, I don't know, the tiles that we've used, the paint, the frames that I've got, the prints even like the strips of wood that we've used for the panel in. I'm going to do my best to link anything, but if I do forget anything and you want to know where it's from, then just let me know in the comments. Yeah, I actually downloaded some digital art off Etsy, and then I had it printed via Snapfish, I think it's called. Frames I also got on Etsy, and I knew I wanted something that looked kind of ornate, because I feel like the whole vibe of the kitchen is pretty much modern farmhouse vibe. I just wanted it to feel very sort of feminine and pretty and ethereal almost in here. I'm not really sure what the word is that I'm going for. Um, but obviously we've added lots of antique brass elements with the switches and um, the lights, which again, I'm not sure if I've actually spoken about this, but we did change the light fitting above the table. Initially I had one from Donnell, but when my mom and dad were moving out of their house, um, they actually told me that they were leaving the light that was in their dining room which I actually purchased for the house when I was living at home with them and we had the whole kitchen done at theirs. So when I found out that they were leaving that light I was like oh my god please let me steal it because it is a lot nicer than ours. It was a lot more expensive. They ended up just switching over so the new people in my mom and dad's old house still had a light fit in. They got the one that I bought from Donnell but then I got to keep the one that I initially bought for my family home which is really special actually and I feel like it fits perfectly. It looks a lot more um, sort of in tie with the vibe of this room. And then luckily I ordered the frames and they actually match the color of a lot of the fittings perfectly. I got them in a champagne color uh, because I didn't want to go too gold with anything in here just because we do have bits of silver as well. So we've done all of that. The only thing that I'm thinking I might change is I might take the glass off the frames and I've actually ordered some Mod Podge. I've seen a hack on TikTok where you basically paint Mod Podge onto just like paper prints. And if you use a brush and you do brush strokes with the Mod Podge, it gives kind of like an oil painting effect. But anyway, yeah, that is pretty much all I've changed so far over there. We put the bar cart back in as well, which was 
actually my great nan's. Um, it was something that was passed down to me from her. So I'm very, very happy that we have that in the kitchen. And then I have actually added one more thing since I last vlogged and it is the shelf that is over here. I can probably actually turn you around now. Um, so yeah, I added this shelf in. This was actually done whilst I was in Ibiza because I've just been to Ibiza with Madison Rach, which was literally the best trip ever. It was like the trip of my life. Again, I'll link this down below. The shelf I got from Etsy and then I got some brass um, brackets and also the brass sort of like hanging pole from a website that I can't remember the name of, but like I said, I'll link it below. I really love the idea of having a shelf there just because I feel like it fills the space up a little bit. Um, and I love the look of like these little hooks when you put teacups on them. I just think it looks really, really cute. So yeah, one of our family friends, Anthony, came around to fit that because I don't know if you can see. I mean, I'll put a close up in as well, but it was actually drilled into the tile. I knew I wanted it fitted to the tiles just so that it was flush with the top of them. Um, and also then so we'd have a good amount of kind of like shelf space to play with. So yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to hopefully post this video tomorrow because I realized I've not posted in like a month and a half at this point um and yeah i don't know i just feel like i needed a little bit of like time away from youtube anyway because i was feeling a bit burnt out with it but i've been really really excited about this video and i don't know hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching the transformation happen i love home content at the minute like i really love home content i'm thinking about doing similar videos for like other parts of the house if it's anything that you'd be interested in because i'm going to actually do the living room next like that is the next room on my agenda i really want it done before christmas so anyway yeah i thought i would show you guys stuff that i've got for the shelf or just like general home stuff that i picked up recently so i got a new tablecloth from donnell um, it's only eight pounds this i just wanted like a plain white tablecloth because now we painted I have a lot of tablecloths that are a very similar color to the paint and it just looks a little bit too samey. So I got a white tablecloth to layer with uh, table runners. And then I don't know if you can see the color of this one. It's kind of like a sage green. Uh, so this is a runner. I mean, it looks so tiny. But I thought for autumn, these could look quite cute together. I think I'm going to incorporate some like greens and warm browns in here now that it's autumn time i still got one ibiza trip next week so i'm holding on to summer for a minute but i'm also very excited for autumn when it comes i've actually ordered some more prints for the prints there as well because i had an idea that i would switch the prints out for each season i mean obviously like i'll keep the prints but i'll just kind of rotate them so i got some more autumnal prints um, to go in the three frames above the table because I thought it might be a nice way to kind of just like switch up the feel and the decor in here. I've got more paint samples because oh my goodness there is so much painting still to do in this house. This is the only room that's been painted. And then I also got some of this tape. It's like hemming tape because one of the last touches in here that needs doing is the curtains need uh, taking off. Okay, some more homely stuff. These branch things <laughs> that i've got are so much bigger than i thought like it's for this vase i mean i've not unwrapped the vase yet uh, but this is to go on the shelf up there so i'm gonna somehow have to trim those because they are way too big and way too long uh, so this is the vase that i got i got this on etsy i opted for like a darker shelf as well because i thought it might be a nice contrast given that everything is very sort of light in here at the minute i did also get a another frame i got like a gunmetal color um, so it's a little bit more grayish for the shelf up there. But yeah, just an example. This is like the print that I've got to go in here for autumn time. It's just some little pumpkins. Got a new chopping board from H&M, um, which just looks like so. Again, it's more of like a dark woody color. Oh, this vase from H&M ages ago. I mean... lot bigger than I remember it being. Does that even, oh, that actually fits. That could be quite cute. I mean, I don't really want to overload it. I always get a bit nervous with shelves. Is anyone else like that? Like I get really scared they're going to pull away from the wall if they're too heavy. And then I also got this little ceramic pot from Etsy and I got some utensils because I only have 
sorry, Freddie's playing with the paper. I only have um, like silicone utensils, so I thought these would be cute in a pot. Is it just me or is that just completely transformed that space? So we have some candlesticks, which I already had just lying around the house. Um, the vase, I trimmed down the stems and I feel like, are they still a bit too long? Cause they do, it does almost go to the ceiling. Um, so I kind of always trim them down a tiny bit more. Tell me what you think. I put the little print up, which I really love. I feel like it fits that vibe perfectly. And then I've got the utensils, the chopping board, this little um, teapot and teacups are actually from Amazon. They were like £16 and I wasn't going to keep it because, I don't know, I just wasn't quite sure if I liked the vibe of them. But I think they actually look really cute there. The thing I need to get is teacups. I did just try putting one of the teacups there on those, but I feel like they just need something really, really plain on the hooks. Yeah, I'm just so happy with how that looks. Does that not look just so gorgeous? The only other thing that I'm thinking about changing in this kitchen, and I'm not going to include it in this video because I kind of want some opinions on it. So if anyone's still watching at this point, uh, which hopefully you are, <laughs> um, then please tell me your thoughts on this. The last thing I'm potentially going to change is the sink. I'll put some clips of the sink in here so that you can see it a little bit better. We have just like the standard sink that came with this kitchen. I didn't upgrade the sink or anything when I moved into this house. I didn't actually upgrade anything in the kitchen because I knew I kind of just wanted to do my own thing with it. Um, but I just feel like it's not fitting the vibe now. I've seen a ceramic sink online, which I'll put a picture in of here. But I've seen this sink that is the same size as that sink. It is just white ceramic, which I feel like is more the vibe of what this kitchen is now. Um, and it just has a nicer tap, to be honest, because I feel like the tap on that sink, it just looks really ugly. <laughs> There's no other word for it. I just feel like it's not fitting the vibe of the room. So that is the last thing that I'm thinking about changing is the sink. And my question is, do we think it's worth it? Like, am I overthinking the sink? Is, I mean, it's fine. Like, it's absolutely fine. And it's a functioning sink. And it's served me very well in the two years that I've been here so far. But I just feel like that would complete this room. Does anyone else agree? Or do you think I'm taking it too far now? Something about replacing a sink that just feels like a higher scale job. <laughs> um, I don't know, it just feels like it would be a little bit more of a complicated job than doing everything else that we've done. So I'm in two minds. I kind of want to do it, but what do you guys think? But anyway, I think I'm going to leave this video here because as I said, I've been filming this for months at this point and I want to get this video up. I want to show you guys. I want to get something up <laughs> on YouTube because as I said, I know I've been gone a little bit of time now. I might do like a catch up video or something soon if anyone's interested in seeing that. I mean, hopefully people are still interested in seeing me on here because it really has been a minute, a hot minute, as I used to say. But yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know, as I said, if you want to see any more home content because I, I'm really just in like my decorating home design phase at the minute. I just love, I've loved doing this room so much. Don't get me wrong, it stressed me out at times, but I've loved it and I'm so glad that I've done it. Thank you so much for watching. If you are still watching to this point, it really, really means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a lovely week as always. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.